What's good with y'all? It's Cam. We did a video straight like that. Comment down below what you want to see in the next one. Like, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Let's go ahead and hop into today's video, man. So check this out, man. Today I'm going to be talking about how, you know, you can't listen to everybody, bro. Like just because somebody makes a whole lot of money and just because somebody is a successful businessman, don't make them good at everything. And you shouldn't take advice from any old body on the internet, bro. The reason why I say that is because I was watching this video recently where it's this dude who I guess is very popular in the self-improvement space. Um, and he was talking about his, I guess, past relationship, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, I went into the video with an open mind because, you know, things happen sometimes, you know, people break up and stuff like that when it can't work out. But I was listening to the way that he was talking and I realized that, you know, this man has a large following talking about relationships and shit like that, bro. But this man knows very little to nothing about relationships, bro. All right. The first thing that, you know, this dude mentioned was that, in a relationship that you shouldn't always act like you're James Bond or act like you are this tough alpha male Adonis type dude around your girlfriend at all times. Now, this is the problem with that, bro. If you can't be yourself around a girl, then you should probably break up with her because you have to imagine this. If you were a girl, let's say that this is a girl of your dreams and you want to marry her, right? But you've been acting like motherfucking Batman, Bruce Wayne around her the whole time. Hella masculine, hella deep voice. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't just be the way you are around the homies with her. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to act like this real alpha male, strong dude all the time, right? So imagine being married for like 10, 20 plus years and you keep it on an act the entire time. Nigga, you are going to mentally break. You are going to mentally fold because that's not really even you. Right. And what's going to end up happening is you're going to be unhappy in your own marriage. And that's going to drive either you or her to cheat, bro. Right. The first and most important rule that I thought everybody should know about relationships is that you have to be yourself. Right. Be yourself. I don't care what you hear on the Internet, bro. Listen to me. Be yourself, bro, around females, because if you're not yourself, then I guarantee that authentic that lack of authenticity is going to catch up to you. Either she's going to sniff that out, bro, immediately as soon as you open your mouth and realize mm, he not really about what he says because girls can sniff that shit out easy. Or what's going to happen is you're going to end up crumbling like this dude did and you're going to start falling under the weight of your own of your own expectations. You're going to put this expectation on you that you're supposed to be this James Bond, Batman type dude type dude and you know, that's not really even you. You a goofy, you a goofy dude. You like to make jokes and shit like that, bro. And that's okay, bro. Like, we need to get out of this narrative that women only like it when you're masculine 100% of the time, bro. That's not even 100% the case, bro. Because this is how females work, bro. If you don't know how females work, this is how they work, bro. Okay. Um, The masculine here, we'll just put the letter A. This letter A represents the masculine male, right? A masculine male who's, the, I guess, alpha male, the Adonis. He's got the big, strong muscles, and he's that guy, deep voice, you know what I'm saying? Very commanding and leading and dominating. You know, the masculine guy who, you know, is this, right? This letter A, he cannot hold that up at all times for 24 hours of the day. He can only hold that up for about 50% mm, of the day, right? And then what ends up happening is he goes back and reverts to who he really is, which, you know, he's still a masculine dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that dudes just turn feminine, but you kind of fall back and take down the persona. You, your, your voice isn't as deep as you portray it to be. You know what I'm saying? You're not as, you know, just, you're not, you, 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 you make jokes. You know what I'm saying? You, you have fun. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't, you laugh sometimes, bro. You don't take everything super duper serious. You can only put up that front for about 50% of the day. Okay. Now the letter B is going to represent the regular dude, you know what I'm saying? Who's, you know what I'm saying? He's got some masculine traits and stuff about him, but he don't think about that shit on a daily. He can put that up for 100% because that's just really who he is. Part of him is, is masculine, you know what I'm saying? But he doesn't put up no type of front or nothing like that, okay? So if a girl, right, this girl is going to be the letter X, okay? Let's say that the dude from, the, the A guy is messing with the girl, right? Pay attention, stay locked in. Let's say that the A guy is messing with this female, only 50% of him is actually going to be really dating her. The other 50% is going to be depressed and sad. Why? Because he can't come out. He can't express that side of himself. And if you can't express a certain side of yourself without fear of that girl leaving, then what the fuck is the point in being with her? You know what I'm saying? Whereas if letter B were to go be with that female, he's going to be a lot happier. Now, from the female perspective, from the female perspective, right? She's actually going to gravitate towards who? Pop quiz. Who is she going to gravitate more towards? Letter B. Why? Because here's the thing. Letter A, as far as initial attraction, might be good. It might be great even. She's going to look at letter A and she's going to be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at that. That he's, he's, he's eye candy, right? 
She might even let him smash on the first day or whatever the case may be, whatever, right? But do you understand that letter B actually gets that same response? Why does letter B get that same response? Maybe he's not as muscular. Maybe he's not as tall as letter A. But letter B also gets that same response as far as short-term attraction because he's authentic. He's real. He's him at the end of the day. He's comfortable. See, do you understand that women can sniff out confidence they can sniff out whether you are secure with yourself or not there is a reason why the guy that get the most females ain't always the most attractive dude ain't always the most stereotypical alpha nigga like me for example you know what i'm saying i'm an attractive dude back when i was single females was coming up to me no lie i'm not even i'm not playing with y'all y'all know my so y'all know my story but y'all can go back to my story times bro i am not the traditional alpha male looking guy like i'm a, i got a lean build i'm only five foot nine you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm i not the traditional alpha dude, you know what I'm saying, that you would think of. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like, I like Cardi. You know what I'm saying? I like Uzi. I like, the, I like different things. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just a traditional super serious. I like to make jokes. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm laid back. I'm chill. I don't be always like trying to act like somebody. I'm not trying to act like I'm the hardest person in the world, bro. Right? I'm just really myself. Yet, I did well with females. Why? Because they could sense that energy about me. They could sense that I didn't give a fuck what you thought about me. And that will always, always, always attract a girl more than trying to be this alpha male Bruce Wayne type dude. Okay? So stop trying to be like letter A and be like letter B so that you can just be you 100% of the time. This is what that YouTuber got wrong. As soon as he started getting his gangster tested, as soon as he couldn't hold up that persona no more, he started to fold because his girl was like, okay, let's keep doing the bullshit that you said that we should do. And then he changed his whole perspective, bro, right? He, at the beginning of the relationship, was like, okay, let's do this. Let's isolate ourselves in the woods and let's not have no homies, no friends, and let's just lock in and have kids, which is great, fine, cool. Then a few months later, he changed his mind. Oh, well, I'm actually going to go do this. Uh, I actually want to live around these people and this, and I want to do this and party and all that other type shit, bro, right? So now the girl's like, well, what the fuck? You're not the person that you said you was. The reason why he wasn't the person that he said he was is because he was putting on a fake persona the whole entire time bro see that's the problem with most of these alpha male red pill dudes right they all try to sell you on the fact that they know relationships but they don't really know relationships name one kind of guy one guy who's on uh, the one self-improvement youtuber that's been in a relationship i'm the only one i've been in a relationship for four going on five years and I've been able to maintain this relationship. These dudes might be able to help you with short-term attraction, but can't none of them actually give you advice on how to keep a girl interested, which is actually much more difficult than short-term attraction. Anyone can attract a girl in the short term. They can all they gotta do is pre pretend to be a right. If you're not confident in yourself enough to really pull girls that way, if you're not confident enough to be genuine, then all you gotta do is let her a and just pretend to be somebody you're not, and you can smack easily, bro. But that shit don't last long term. You gonna fold or she gonna fold, bro. Either one or the other, bro. That's why you can't listen to a lot of these people. Just because they got, you know, a good camera, just because they got money and shit like that, bro. It don't mean nothing, bro. They're still losers at heart, okay? At the end of the day, they are still... They're not who they pretend to be at the end of the day. So stop taking relationship advice from everybody because everybody is not meant to give relationship advice, okay? The other thing is this too, you know, because I continue to watch this video and I realized something about these alpha, I guess, I don't even know what else to call them, red pill dudes. I realized something about these self-improvement guys. I realized that they really lack any sort of um, realistic, like social awareness. They lack... They lack interpersonal skills. You know what I'm saying? Because I continue to watch this person's video. And, you know, in the video, I'll just break it down. I'll give you all a real quick summary. He basically didn't exercise with his girlfriend to wear. He was like, what do you want the remainder of your life to look like? And they both wrote down things and they were different, right? And he wrote down that, oh, I don't want to live with you anymore. I want to live with my homies in the city. And he expected her to be okay with that. You know what I'm saying? What kind of person that is not a narcissist or what kind of person that is not socially impaired says to their partner, their significant other, who they have been living with for a while, hey, I don't want to live with you anymore and expects the relationship to continue from that point on. That is one of the most disrespectful things. Not only that, but this man then called his ex afterwards and said, hey, I'm very happy and I'm very productive and stuff like that. This is clearly somebody who lacks social awareness and somebody who is a narcissist and who does not understand that this whole alpha male stuff or whatever is actually mainly BS and cope for a lot of people that have trauma in their past that they haven't healed yet, okay? And so what ends up happening is 
they do these narcissistic things, narcissistic behavior that they think is some real cool alpha male stuff. Like, look, it's one thing to be dominant. It's one thing to be a masculine guy, to lead your woman. I believe in that. But it's a whole other thing to be an asshole and a jackass. You know what I'm saying? You telling a, your significant other that basically you don't fuck with her enough to want to live with her no more. You basically saying, yo, let's switch up everything I told you. Everything I told you, bro. Yeah, like, like, let's just switch it up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's just switch up everything I just told you. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know how we made a plan to go do this? I don't want to do that anymore. So, like, let's do something else. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why you have to be very careful and selective with who you are around, right? And honestly, you just have to, look, treat others how you want to be treated. How you want to be treated. What you'll notice is... The advice that I'm giving you is so basic and extremely surface or not even surface level. It's just so basic. You know what I'm saying? You've heard both of these sentiments before. Be yourself and treat others how you want to be treated. Even in the Bible, it says to treat others how you want to be treated. Okay. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because a lot of this stuff, when you get caught up in self-improvement, you become selfish a lot of the times. And what a lot of youngins don't realize is that this self-improvement journey isn't supposed to be something selfish. Like, sure, it's great to go to the gym and sure, it's great to work on yourself. But realize that you're not the only person alive. And sometimes you have to be considerate of other people's feelings, right? You know what I'm saying? And when I say considerate of other people's feelings, I don't mean you have to be some kind of pussy. You don't have to be a pushover or nothing like that. But why is it that you should be able to just say something like, like, oh, I don't, I don't, basically be like, I don't fuck with you no more. And accept, expect the other person to be cool with what you're saying, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's just a sign that you ain't never been through no type of adversity and you suck with other people. You know what I'm saying? Learn social skills, okay? That's gonna be number three, actually. Learn social skills. Oops. Learn social skills, right? Learn social skills. Anybody that doesn't know how to converse with people in a regular manner without coming across as an asshole is clearly somebody who has a lack of who has lacked some sort of development brain-wise, right? This same YouTuber, I continue to watch him, and I watched this other video of his just because I honestly was just bored and I was just chilling. I needed something to watch, and it was entertainment to me. All this shit is entertainment. I don't take none of these dudes serious. And so I was watching the video, and he was talking about a situation that he had where his friends were rattling up a tab, you know what I'm saying? And basically, there was a whole, there was a whole bunch of drama and stuff like that. Long story short, he was on a double date and he wasn't vibing with the girl. And instead of, you know, being man enough to be like, you know, tough to date out, he pulled out his laptop and started doing work right then and there. You know, so he just started doing some shit on his laptop instead of just being on, present in the date. You know what I'm saying? Which is crazy for somebody that preaches masculine presence and being in the moment so much that this person would whip out their laptop and be at work. Like, bro, why didn't you just stay at home then, my dog? Why didn't you just excuse yourself? You decided to stay in a, in the same situation. And it, like, that shit don't make no motherfucking sense to me. But I digress. Learn social skills so that way you actually learn how to work with other people. Because do you understand that most of life is networking? A lot of you probably don't realize this, but when you get out of high school, get out of college, whenever you're looking for a job, applying through regular applications is not going to get you very far. It's about who you know, right? And if it's about who you know, that means that you have to go and talk to people, right? You have to be nice to people. You have to network with people. You have to learn how they work. You can't just always get what you want through self-improvement and shit like that, bro. Like, you really can't. Because if that's how things work, then we would all have what we want. We'd all have $100 million. But it's not accessible because most of you lack social skills. You lack the social skills. You treat others like shit. You know what I'm saying? You think that you got to be this a-hole, Bruce Wayne, diamond. Like, bro, no. You don't have to be any of that. All you have to do is treat others with respect, and you will get respect back, bro. And if someone don't treat you with respect, then just remove yourself from the situation. You know what I'm saying? That's all you have to do. But to wrap this video up, make sure that you are listening to people who don't switch up their beliefs and what they think and their opinion every three months. Because it's one thing to grow and to change, but it's another thing to every few months completely go opposite of what your views are. And now I know a lot of you are probably watching this video like, well, Cam, you're a hypocrite because your views change and stuff like that, blah, 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 blah. My views have changed over time, but they don't change every three months, right? Because now I'm in a space to where, yeah, I make videos about girls and stuff like that, but that's just really to help y'all out. At the end of the day, I know for a fact that a long-term relationship is more desirable. I know for a fact that most of this short-term attraction stuff, how to get girls stuff, is really only going to satisfy you in the short term, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I just do it because that's what y'all want to see at the end of the day. 
at the end of the day, you want nothing of substance. And that's why you continue to watch YouTubers like the one I mentioned in this video, because he is good at giving you lack of substance, right? It's faux substance, fake substance. Acts like he's this very deep person or whatever. And on the surface level, isn't that great of a person in relationships. Probably great for sticking to business and, and money making and stuff like that, right? That's why you got to stick to what you're good at. I don't make videos on how to make $100,000 a month. I'm not the channel for that. You can go to somebody else's channel. You can go to his channel for that. You know what I'm saying? This channel, you're going to get some good, solid girl advice as far as attraction and long-term relationships and any kind of relationships with females, all right? So that being said, I love you guys. Let me know what you want to see in the next one. Like and subscribe if you're brand new. I'm out. Peace.